often hear from our guests is they come in and their blood pressure goes down. They feel calm, they feel relaxed. It was the best night of sleep they've had in months. So there's something special happening here and I think it's boiling down to this interaction of the, the harmonious architecture of the building talking to each person's heart. So it's a, it happens in a very subtle level. And uh, when you take that in combination with all the special pieces of artwork, and everything placed in its divine spot, one is just experiencing a deep sense of harmony. as I traveled around the world and, and acquired things. And what's interesting here about the art is the art chooses where it wants to go. Wow, that's fascinating. And when I listen to what the art, where the art wants to go, that special magic unfolds for the guest. special part, it's not just the wine, it's how we grow the grapes, how we tend to the fields, and how we use biodynamic farming as a big part of that. But also, I use my experience in architecture and design into every aspect of the bottle, so that what's happening is this harmony being infused into the Allegretto wine. Well, we're a Mediterranean-based restaurant, as you know, as being a fan of ours, and we appreciate all the time that you spend with us. Uh, you know, fresh, fresh fish for dinner. Chef brings in salmon generally every other day. Uh, all of our beef is prime, fantastic. Filet mignon, if you haven't had one yet, it's definitely a must try. Uh, we have two great sous chefs in the kitchen, Ben Drejos and Rob Laura, and they head the kitchen up and do a fantastic job. Intent um, is that the wine brings you joy. Doug always wants everything that he's created here to bring joy to people, and so the wines themselves should be a representation of, of his philosophy. So when people come here, it's a casual setting, it's comfortable, but they're going to learn a little about about the grapes and the vines and Allegretto and its history, and enjoy a delicious glass of wine. A lot of people really like our trio right now. It's our 2019 trio. Um, it has a bunch of different varietals. It's a white blend. Um, it's very airy, crisp, very easy, drinkable as well. Um, and another one that's really popular is going to be our Tanat, which is grown here on our state property. And it's just so unique. You don't see Tanat very much, and we happen to have 100%. And it's probably one of the favorites. I consider it our flagship. commitment to understanding what the brand is of Allegretto, how we hire people who fit into our culture, how we draw all of our team members in to support each other in a relevant way, and how we treat all of our guests with genuine hospitality. Lucky enough to have two Cabernet Sauvignons available for our customers and um, one is from our Estrella AVA, which is right here in this property where uh, Alavetta Resort is. Um, these vines were planted in 2010. Uh, has a beautiful um, fruit forward um, 
nose and then um, you got those tannins associated with the cab on the back end. You know, we have over 200 lavender plants here that in the fall when everybody's jumping around to harvest all the grapes and harvest all the olives, we spend a lot of time also harvesting all of our lavender. We cut it, we dry it, we shuck it, we hand bag it, and I present it. For me, it's all about the connection. And certainly local community, we have uh, 171 rooms, so we have a lot of internal locals. Every night we get more locals. Uh, but really it's the community and involving ourselves in the community. Uh, I'm maybe on a separate note, I'm involved with a, uh, an organization called the Chien de Rutisseres, and I am the Bailly or the president for that organization. I'm following in the footsteps of Daniel Dow, Gary Eberly, Justin Baldwin. Uh, it's a started the Shen started in 12, 1200s and then was reintroduced in New York in 1950s. So it's something I've been able to carry on that tradition and it's about hospitality, it's about great food, beverage, wine, camaraderie. So I feel that we pull all of that together in addition to going outside and giving back to the community. That's what we're really all about, is really uh, embracing the guests.